everyone back again with me princess tachi jupiter with new video today we're going to find out how does he view your beauty all right guys in front of you there are three cards i have generosity creativity or authenticity using your intuition please pick the first card that comes into your mind and i highly recommend you to pick other group as well for your own additional messages i'll see you on your reading hello group number one welcome back to my channel with me princess tacha jupiter today we're going to find out how does he view your beauty you're picking generosity or group number one be the divine flow of goddess nature all right with number 12 now before we dig deeper i want to shuffle one more cards for you but i'm being called to shuffle and then pick the the, the 12th card all right um counting into 12 based on your own original number here so please tap me to the energy of group number one please tap me to the energy of group number one please how does he feel your beauty all right one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. I already count 12 based on your own original number here because sometimes this is, can give us also clue and signs um, and this is your card after the 12th card, right? You have here Belladonna. Wow, with number 20, Belladonna. Some of you born on the 12th day of the month or in December or on the 20th day of the month, the 22nd of the month or the second day of the month. Now, with generosity here, group number one. He view your beauty as someone that really know how to accumulate, how to accumulate the abundance around you. All right. Um, this is about your big heart. So he view your beauty as someone that truly have a big heart. You are someone that is very generous or sometimes more generous than people expect you to be. People sometimes misunderstood you or just from the first appearances that they see you, they're probably thinking that you're just a sophisticated person, someone that got a lot of um, you know, abundance or blessings in their life, but they might not necessarily um, think that you are generous when, in fact, you know, when actually you are a generous person. Now, he view your beauty as someone that is willing to give even though you don't get anything in return. Now, it differs than someone that just pleasing everyone around them, but you're more so once your heart decided to give, you're not going to expect anything in return, you know? You're not going to expect that person to give the same thing to you. Um, even though you kind of wish to have um, a long-term connection, long-term friendship, you know, um, long-term collaboration, or at least just um, a nice, you know, um, a nice collaboration or just a friendly um, relationship with someone, you know, but you don't get it. You don't get it. Or you didn't get it at all in the past. Or some people just choose to judge you or misunderstood you. Now, this is the interesting part because he view your beauty as someone that align yourself with your own flow and you actually always have everything that you need because you are generous because you give back to the collective give, give back to the universe give back to the divine to god by helping people by giving the things that you can give you know by volunteering your time or helping people that need you or helping your family your parents your spouse you know your friends you know or just being nice being kind you know um, being kind and he view your beauty as someone that truly are kind you have a kind heart 
um, you are very tolerant to other people and you're not holding on or block the flow, block the generosity of that abundance, that money. You're not blocking it. You're sharing it. You know, you're sharing it. So you donate to some social cause that you believe, charity cause, um, you know, spiritual cause, or you help other people, give to your parents some, to your siblings, you know, help your loved ones, um, you know, or giving your talent, you know, to the, to the, to the people that need it and sharing this abundance um, with other people. For generosity is love and by giving you are opening yourself to the divine flow of God's nature. As you opening yourself, as you sharing what you have, you're inviting, you're attracting more things, more beautiful things, more abundance coming to you because you're not holding on, you're not blocking the way, you're sharing it, you open the door. All right, you're opening the door. It seems like when you need it, there's always a way. You cannot explain it sometimes, but I feel that the group that picked group number one, you probably connected to what I said in the sense that when you really need a help, even stranger can help you. You know, when you need an answer, a solution, for some reason, you will get it either it's through your prayer, meditation, um, dreams, you know, synchronicities, or people come to you and give you help, you know, you will get the things that you need it because you are being very generous with your energy, with your blessings. And that's also how he view your beauty. You're also someone that truly know how to listen to people, how to be the one that can accept people. Uh, when you see those who feel unseen and you hear those who feel unheard, a very good friend to have, a very good spouse to have, you know, you got that great potential to be a great partner. You heal people that are sick and when you give your love to those who have forgotten how to give it to themselves, you give them understanding, you give them motivation, even your words of motivation, positive words, is being considered by the universe, by the divine, by heaven, by God. Give and give and give. And with this energy, you will find you are always full and never empty. Trust in the generosity of God's love in your life. And that's how he view your beauty. You are the extension of God's love in the sense that you are being very generous. Being very generous, all right? Even in the positive words. Even in the way you Motivate people, motivate your loved ones, lifting up other people. That's very powerful. Generosity. That's how he view your beauty. Now with Belladonna here. Belladonna. Truly a plant that can give many magical abilities. Belladonna is the plant that truly fears. So he view your beauty as someone that truly fears. You are brave. You are courageous. And you are someone that might not realize that you got power, that you got magical power, that you are magical, that you are beautiful or handsome, but you truly just want to share that to the whole world or to the collective until people even realized that you are beautiful, that you are handsome. So he see if he view your beauty as a result of your generosity and how you truly share your talent. You're multi-talented with Belladonna. You are courageous and you really know how to stand up for other people. You really know how to stand up for other people. You may not realize how many people value you, group number one, and are looking out for your well-being. And you might not realize that support will come from them when you are least expecting it. But remember, when it does, that relationships like this are rare and hard to come by. So he view your beauty as someone that truly willing to help other people, truly reliable, you are dependable, reliable. And believe me, when you need it, you know, 
the divine God, your angels, will use the people to help you. Even probably it is strangers or people that you might not expect will help you. You know what I mean? They will help you because you help other people. So that's like the magic. That's the beauty of, you know, that's the power of the, the, of the divine, of God. That God be able to use other people against us to actually helping us ready in our destiny to get our throne here to get your destiny to to do the purpose all right and the key is just to be kind as much as you can to everyone around you and don't do revenge leave it all to god because people that treated you bad they will learn their own lesson you know what i mean they will learn it they will learn it one way or the other okay let's see it here please tap me to the energy of group number one how does he view your beauty you have purity yes you are someone that really know how to be very honest with yourself and with other people. Your honesty, your genuine feeling, your generosity is very powerful. This is like your powerful abilities to truly bring good karma, good energies, good abundance into your life. So if you feel that your life might not feel good right now, don't lose hope because at the end of the tunnel, you will get what you want. You always arrive at your destination and at the end of the day you will get the best outcome out of the situation because your heart is pure and you are generous you have a good heart and always trust in the purity of your heart and look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question because that's the answer from the divine this is you. You are very pure. You are very beautiful and handsome. You have that beautiful, pure heart. You are shining so bright. You might not realize it. Or you might say that I'm not that beautiful or that handsome. I'm not that attractive. But your heart, group number one, is very attractive. Your heart is very kind. And that's very powerful in saving, in building your good deeds in order for you to receive it, to harvest it. You might not know when, but it absolutely will be there when you need it. So if you are in the middle of manifestation or starting your manifestation, still try to manifest something. Um, some of you already achieved it. Some of you still want to achieve something more. Don't lose hope. And use this power of generosity and purity in everything that you do. And you are on the right track to get your manifestation. To make your dreams come true. To truly enjoy life and be able to say that I'm grateful of my life. And by you saying that, by you saying to yourself that, you know, group number one, you are attracting even more reason to be grateful. And he feel your beauty as someone that is truly pure. You have a beautiful heart. It doesn't matter what they said. It doesn't matter what the haters did to you. They will learn their own lesson. And may you always protect your heart, protect the purity of your heart. But always prioritize yourself also. Give that purity that you give to other people also to yourself. Because you deserve it. And he feel your beauty as this person that truly have this genuine connection even online or in physical life you 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 soon start realizing that how purity and generosity and positive energy come back to you tenfold as much as you know or, or as simple as you're feeling better as simple as you're feeling better you know that's already like a positive energy that come back to you with your own effort as well as 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 well as the blessing from God and the help from your angels. Please tap me to the energy of group number one. How does he view your beauty? 
Knight of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. And the Lovers. Yes. I love that when the lovers come in truly under purity, that your love is pure. When you love someone, you love it with all your hearts. You know, that's how also he feel your beauty. So you have that great potential character as a great partner. Regardless of the dynamic that you have with this person, they truly feel you as a genuine person someone that is very lovely and you also someone that's really got ambition he feel your beauty as a way of you um, working hard toward your dreams and desire and also how you having this ideal mindset you know you have that moral um, you're someone that's really intelligent you really know how to use your words carefully you really know how to use your critical thinking you're very intelligent here and i feel that you know when you love the things that you do and you use your ambition to keep working towards it and, you know, sharpen your skills and use that purity heart and help people along the way, you will be the knight of swords. You'll be very powerful here. And also the queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles and generosity is like confirmation validation from the universe thank you universe because queen of pentacles is someone that is very generous is someone that truly attract abundance by being generous by using the power of generosity generosity is actually very powerful you plant good seeds i'm not surprised that you will harvest good things in your life the haters plant bad seed. I'm not surprised that in the future, they learn their own lesson. They need to feel broken heart because they make other people broken heart. The haters started drama with you and you didn't even deal with it. You didn't even take the bait. You take the high road and they have to deal with it sooner or later. It doesn't matter how many subscribers they have. They might have bigger subscribers than you. They might have bigger you know, friends than you, they might look like from social media. They have a lot of friends, a lot of clicks, a lot of groups that they went brunch with to gossip about you, to get drama to you, to make you feel bad. It doesn't matter. They might feel like they're on top of the world right now, but sooner or later, they're going to learn their own lesson and let yourself live in your own purity because this is powerful. That's like your power. Don't forget. And if you ever forget in the future, save this video. Come back to, to this video in the future to remind you how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, how wonderful you are. And you can pick other group as well for your own additional messages or even pick this group again to remind you. And I'm so thankful, guys, that you are on my channel. Thank you for that. If you want to book private reading just for you, since this is very general, all right, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading or to donate to this channel. Let's see here. Please tap me to the energy of group number one. How does he view your beauty? Listening, yes. I thought about this earlier, that you are a great listener to someone that no one hears them. You activate your receptive side. You're very receptive. That's your beauty. You really know how to be a great listener. You're not in a rush to just reply when people talk to you. You try to understand them. You try to uh, put yourself in their shoes. Perspective. You, you're someone with a great perspective. You really know how to see the beauty in everything, how to find the benefit for yourself, even in the middle of chaos. You really know how to do it. That's like survival skill to the top. That's like how you thrive, how you survive, how you even winning in the chaos, how people even going to be surprised, how you still stand so strong for yourself, how you truly can stand up for your own, how you truly can defend other people, how you truly can sharpen your skills when other people expect you to fail. And you're, you're not going to fail. You're not going to fail because you have that purity, because you have that great perspective, because you really know how to find the positive things in everyday life and use that for your own benefit, for your own good. And that's one of the way for you to be grateful to truly understand that you got this power of idealism idealism in truly understand the perspective it's going to be different from each point of view and you know that or start learning that start knowing that knowledge and truly apply that in everyday life so then 
it leaves people so surprised, speechless. Even your hair are speechless. How come this person still trying? When I tried so many times to bring them down, it didn't change their attitude. Yes, because you have a great love inside your heart. Maturity, because you are major beyond your years. You might look younger, you have that youthful energy, but the way you think, the way you act, the way you survive, your surviving skills is very major. You make peace with the tough relationships of my past, of your past. You're not trying to fix other people anymore. You're not trying to fix a relationship anymore when they don't want to be fixed. You let it go. Because you come into conclusion that if it's meant to be, it will find its own way. If it's not, they're just not meant to be in your life and you are okay with that. It's pretty hard at first to truly accept that. And not having that FOMO fear of missing out, all right? Because you will find your own tribe. Relationship cannot be forced. Friendship cannot be forced. Connection cannot be forced. But you know for sure that the people that are supposed to be in your life, that is meant to be in your life, they will be there for a reason. They will stay there for you. Love it. You are very fun to be around. Rely on this power to have fun, um, to find the sense of fun, to take a sweet, sweet smile, uh, you know, to treat yourself and pamper yourself until you're feeling happier and lighter. Use the power of humor, fun things louder. Go to the theme parks if, if you love theme parks. Treat yourself for a piece of cake. Shop for yourself. Pamper yourself. Enjoy this life. And that's how he view your beauty. All right, group number one, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you, guys. And bye-bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome back to my channel with me, Princess Tacha Jupiter. Today, we're going to find out how does he view your beauty. You're picking creativity or group number two with CS the day. All right, number eight. Some of you born um, on the eighth day of the month or in August or 888 could be your angel numbers. Now, let's see here before we dig deeper to that card. Uh, oh, please tap me to the energy. Not yet. Not yet. All right. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. How does he feel your beauty? I'm being called to shuffle the cards and counting eight based on your original number of the first card that you pick. The group two, you got number eight. So I'm gonna counting eight of this card to find out your card here. All right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I done already counting eight. So after the eighth card, this is your card. You have mistletoe number forty-eight. Some of you are in your forties. That's possible. Four, 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 eight, eight, eight could be your angel numbers. Some of you born on the fourth day of the month or on the eighth day of the month. Again, eight, eight, eight. Um, that's possible. Right. With creativity, group number two. Men or he view your beauty as someone that truly just likes spring. You know, you're just like spring weather, full of inspiration, full of new energy. Um, he view your beauty as someone that is looking very fresh. You know, maybe you just got a haircut, get your hair done, change your hair color, change the style of your hair, or, you know, um, lately you just, you know, um, curly your hairs or really taking care of yourself really well uh, for hair or even, I don't know, I just want to say that, all right, for some of you, you use hair vitamin or, you know, you taking care of yourself really well, use vitamin for your skin or drinking vitamin 
but I feel that you know um, this is the picture of the goddess of spring now he view your beauty as someone that truly brings sense of inspiration. You bring new things into connection. He view your beauty as someone that is so much different than other people or other connection that he um, had before. All right. And you're just someone that is very creative in a very natural way. So you're naturally very creative. Um, in the sense that even the way you dress, the way you set your makeup on, um, the way you move, the way you carry yourself is very creative. Full of color. All right. Full of color. You probably love dressing in like flowery dress, colorful dress. All right. Um, that's also possible for some of you. And I feel that, you know, he view your beauty as someone that that is very charming. You're youthful, but sometimes you can get a little bit distracted, all right? It's easy for you to get distracted, um, especially with this creativity. Some of you is very bubbly, um, and you have that entertainment energy, like a bunny, you know, this picture of two bunnies. You're like very funny, very entertaining, and very fun to be around, you know? Most of the time, it's about lifting up. Uh, other people or about try to you know find the funny way in everyday life um you know very fun and you are someone that is really relying on humor to gain more power in order to influence someone unconsciously all right so that's how also he view your beauty now with this card i feel that you are someone that planting the good seeds in your life, already planted a lot of good seeds in your life. And now you are ready to grow, to grow, to have your flowers, to have your dreams come true. And truly got that, you know, soft green leaves appear like the spring weather. All right, especially it's like Easter egg over here, um, you know, and there's this new rebirth, new hope coming from you. And he view your beauty as someone that truly inspired this person to also do the same with their life. For some reason, just looking at you, move in your life, go with the flow, yet full of enthusiasm, full of motivation, full of fun energy that truly inspire this person. It is also possible that you probably probably post on social media or you know um, interact with your office friends or the way you carry yourself is just full of hope you know full of hope hopes regardless of you know what's going on in your life the struggle the chaos you always try to find the colorful things the fun things to do and you know you count your blessings so that's the thing about you right you truly enjoy the day that's part of your power. You truly enjoy the day. Now with mistletoe here, I feel that what how he view your beauty is someone that they falling in love the first time they look at you. They falling in love the first time they look at you. They view your beauty as someone that truly beautiful inside and out. You know, there's this feeling about you that probably connected with this person in past life. Either they, are, they were your crush, they were your secret admirer, or they were your spouse in past life, if you believe in past life. But regardless whether this person used to be connected with you or not in past life, or whether there there, there were past life or not, you know, um, I feel that um, this person feels strongly about you. So there's this emotional connection that this person finds to be very beautiful from you. Now with mistletoe here, group number two, in Scandinavian, the mistletoe is called the plan of peace. Mm -hmm. So he view your beauty as someone that truly very peaceful to look at. You carry peace wherever you go. You really know how to deal with the haters in a, in a more diplomatic way than other connection that they had in past in the past. All right, they see you differently than other people in the sense that you really know how to take back your control. You really know how to appear very gracefully. That's one of the things that I also realized. You are creatively handling your haters in a creative way. You are focusing on your own energy, focusing on your crafts, focusing on your happiness. And and, you know, that's how you carry peace wherever you go, by focusing on the good things, by um, not really much taking the bait of the haters or the drama maker, right? And 
how he view your beauty is truly someone that truly have a good temper you really know how to cooling yourself off whenever you getting that hot temper you know how to cool down you know how to relax by yourself you know how to control yourself really well that's basically it is you know what i mean with the mistletoe and also you're someone that not having a problem to step back from relationship from a problem from an issue from a group of people and truly analyze it with an open mind and not just um you know living with the rose colored glasses but instead try your best to see the things as it is it's hard yes it's hard sometimes but i feel that he view your beauty as someone that truly are mature but really want to just have peace in your everyday life and that's like very mature for for this person you know they're already in the level of life that they just want a peace they just want a no drama life free drama life or someone that is very easy going and you know right to the point you know straight to the point some Someone that not just gonna drag him or this person along with the drama, uh, with the problems, and that's you. All right. So regardless of the dynamic that you have with this person, I feel that he view your beauty as someone that not want to drag someone too long, but instead you offering solution. So if if only if yeah, all right, only if you have solution, then you tell this person. If not, then you're not even going to bother to criticize that person. You know what I mean? So that's how he view your beauty. It is possible that you work together with this person or collaboration in some sort of um, forms, I'm not sure, or used to work, used to collaborate, or this person used to discuss something with you. So friends were discussion um, in the same organization, same workplace, or same school, uh, same office, that's possible, or same church, so, you know, something like that, or just same neighborhood. So there's this connection between you and this person, and creativity is one of the way to truly um, making it stronger, all right? It's truly making it stronger. see here please tap me to the energy of group number two please tap me to the energy of group number two how does he view your beauty how does he view your beauty all right you have hope mm. you know what i tell you exactly Hope is always there, even if we cannot see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. You are very creative and carry hope wherever you go. You are someone that truly know how to find a creative solution. You're very brilliant. Group number two, you truly can survive in a different kind of scenario because um, you got that powerful hope card. And he view your beauty as one of the hopes that he got in his life. For some reason, I don't know the dynamic that you have with this person. Maybe some of you work together or this is your crush or your secret admirer or used to be your partner or your current partner even, right? They see that you're someone that can make them hopeful to the future, that can make them have new hope. You carry new hope as you are the mistletoe as well. Carry that peace feeling, that peace knowing that the hope is on the way, you know. That's like the blessing from God, from the divine, um, from heaven uh, for you. All right. Let's see your tarot cards here. Please tap me to the energy of group number two, please. How does he view your beauty? Temperance. Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords. He view your beauty as someone that not afraid of challenges. 
you really know how to protect yourself from trouble um he also view your beauty as someone that really know how to protect your interest protect what you have in life you're not afraid of someone that try to steal the spotlight because you know that you have value you have a lot of things to offer you know what you carry you know what you know what you know your own value that you can offer into connection into relationship into job into group of people and so then he view your beauty as someone that really know how to be calm in the middle of chaos you know how to um, protect yourself and protect what you have um, like relationship you know possession um, knowledge something else but also protect your peace mm -hmm. and protect the hope so maybe the world tried or this hater or some people or you know negative energy tried to like make you lose hope but you protect it with all your heart. You know that you're not gonna let them steal your peace. You just, you know, you just pray or having spiritual practices or meditation or truly asking guides, um, asking your spirit guides or God or your angels to truly give you that sense of peace, knowing that the hope is absolutely there, that the rainbow is absolutely, absolutely there in your future. There is a bird picture here and also two birds here meanings that you know this is like probably the signs also from the universe to let you know that don't doubt yourself and you know don't worry because the hope is on the way you will get the answer you will get the solution of your questions and it's probably coming in synchronicities in something that you really want to read after this reading or in like a scriptures or even a dream or prayer that being answered all right um know that the hope is always there that you know it's not done yet and that your mission is to truly balance your energy between masculine and feminine to truly also rest having peace knowing that your angels will take care of things um, the universe will help you god will help you you know they will use people circumstances to truly placing you in your destiny and where you're supposed to be um, knowing that if something that was just not meant to be in your life you know it's not gonna be there but something better will come along that's like the spirit of hope that's like the essence of having faith faith and hope in your life all right now with the temperance here he view your beauty as someone that truly feminine you have a very balanced feminine and masculine energy you are probably someone that is very ambitious as well with your side hustle career a business a small business or even just new way of making money you also someone that love learning new knowledge and really know how to balance between feminine energy and masculine energy you really know how to dress also feminine you you know how to dress up you know how to creatively relying on your own ideas you really know how to use the power of creative defined feminine power in order to manifest in order to attract instead of chasing chasing right instead of chasing you truly attract the things that you want to have in life and what he also feel your beauty how he feel your beauty is someone that got attention wherever you go you always stand out in a crowd you always becoming the center of attention because all eyes just on you nine of swords you know this person love thinking about you and i think not just him or not just this person regardless of his or her or their gender but i feel that majority of people that know you they find you to be very creative very unique and they just love your style maybe the way you look or they just love the way you talk they love the way you think and your opinion is very creative as well they love your crafts they love your maybe you create music create content that's possible or your um, the way you interact with your friends or peer or acquaintances in the office they kind of like that but lately just to give you a, a, a sign group number two that all eyes on you people pay attention to you be careful of the people that just love watching your social media but never compliment you never like you never comment positive things um never even contribute to your peace well-being they don't deserve your attention you know what i mean and just know that when all eyes on you doesn't mean it's all jealous you know some of them truly admire you deep inside their heart um because like the way you carry yourself or the way you move is just very humble i feel for this group all right please tap me to the energy of group number two how does he view your beauty group number two 
curiosity. He view your beauty as someone that love learning something new. You love meeting new people, either online or in physical life. You remember what a treasure trove of opinions, interests, and stories they are. You are really respecting of other people cultures. You love learning new things, making new friends, either online or in physical life. Hey, if um, I'm one of your online friends, I'm so thankful, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you for supporting my channel as well. I'm so happy, so glad um, that I could uh, that I can always be here for you guys. And if you want private reading just for you since this is very general reading or to donate to this channel, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading or to donate to this channel. You also have here cleansing. He view your beauty as someone that you probably clean up really well, you're taking care of yourself really well, or start incorporating that more into your life. They really see that your appearances, the way you look, the way you carry yourself is just clean up really well, you know, you're taking care of yourself really well. That's why I told you in the beginning that maybe you wear vitamin, you, you use vitamin, um, you get your hair done or, you know, um, drink vitamin, something like that. But I feel that there's also energy about you really just want to cleanse your own self from your own toxic habit or cleansing yourself from old connection that was just not good for your life. You know what I mean? There's this energy about you really clean yourself, all right? Surrender. He view your beauty as having a very powerful feminine energy. You have an ability to surrender, yet taking action at the same time. Because when surrender and hope here coming together with also temperance, there's this balance energy between your own effort and also surrender to the divine, surrender to God, having faith and know that the hope is on the way. Have hope, have faith, have hope and know that, you know, by having your hope, that hope is always there. Even if we cannot see it, even if you cannot see it, you still surrender. So that there's this action of you being very spiritual regardless of your religion, whether you have religion or not. Maybe some of you are religious or have spiritual practices that you follow or you just love tarot or astrology. But I feel that he view your beauty as having the spiritual beautiful. You are very beautiful spiritually or handsome, very handsome spiritually. You are someone with a very strong spiritual connection or the spirit guides that very, uh, you know, really are just proud of you. We can truly um, have that reading later on about your spirit guides. But let's find out here. Please tap into the energy of group number two one more time. How does he feel your beauty for my viewers? That be group number two, please. Warmth. You are someone that really know how to give a good hug. Now, let's see this picture. We see that these two bunnies hugging this person and this person hugging two bunnies. That's you. That's you with yourself. That's you with this person. Even though you're not hugging this person literally, or maybe you used to hug, or maybe you did hug, it doesn't matter. But your energy is very warm. And not just to this person, but also to the people around you, to your family, to even stranger. You really know how to be friendly, how to be kind. You know, you don't have to be people pleaser, but at least it's free to be kind you know what I mean and you are someone that really are just so warm and truly just having really want to have a good interactions with the people around you and also nature so some of you probably have a very strong air energy in your birth chart Aquarius Gemini Libra or earth energy in your birth chart Capricorn Virgo Taurus not all of you some of you all right um take what resonates but I feel that they truly admire you and view your beauty as someone that truly friendly warmth you're probably giving a very good hug <laughs> all right you are a hugger <laughs> and you know you can truly melt any icy exterior you really know how to create ice breaking you really know how to talk to people or talk to strangers you really know how to create meaningful connection either online or in physical life and most of the time you know people that pick group number two that's like your power power to network with people in a very genuine way all right group number two that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video thank you and bye bye Hello group number 3, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tasha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out how does he view your beauty. Alright, you're picking group number 3 or authenticity. Let your truth be 
hurt. All right, so um, we're going to discuss a dig deeper, but before that, I want to also get another card for you. And I'm being called to shuffle and pull one card after the first card, then that's your card according to your main number over here, all right? I mean, called to do that. Please tap me to the energy of a group number three, please. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. How does he view your beauty, group number three? How does he view your beauty? For my viewers, that pick group number three, please. All right. Pick one. You already count one. Same with your number. And so then, this is your card. You have here, Black Thorn, number 40. All right, some of you born in January with number one or in April or born on the first day of the month or um, on the fourth day of the month or 14th or you are in your 40s right now. Not all of you, some of you, right? Please take what resonates since this reading is a very general reading. But if you want private reading just for you and to donate to this channel as well, please click the link in the description box below. Thank you guys for all of your support to this channel. All right, now with authenticity over here. Group number three, I think he view your beauty as someone that is truly no um, to give a really good value in like friendship, connection, or work relationship, or even romantic connection. This is the goddess of Rhiannon. And you are someone that truly stepping into your own authenticity. He view your beauty as someone that truly show to the world or stepping into your own authenticity, your own style, your own idea, your own unique, um, you know, experience. And to tell the world and to share the world yourself as it is, you know what I mean? And I feel that he view your beauty as someone that truly stepping outside of your comfort zone. You are someone that truly have a deeply held values and beliefs. Um, and sometimes you really want to just fit in and be like others. You know, you just want to fit in and just like anybody else and want to be liked, want to get approval. But you know what, group number three, sometimes what makes you different, what makes you stand out in a crowd is due to your authenticity. You cannot force people to like you. You cannot make people like you. You can just do your best be yourself and let the right people come to you. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we just try so hard to fit in. Um, and in the end, we feel broken heart. And if you, your beauty as someone that truly are genuine in friendship or even to strangers or even to acquaintances, to the people that, that is not your friend. Some of you might say that you don't have friend um, and that's normal. You know, not everyone is for you, but know that through this channel, you can find an um, online friend and also you can acknowledge me as your online friend as well. And I'm so glad that I'm, of course, on your side, group number three. Of course, I'm going to be on my follower si side, right? Um, And I feel that group number three, he view your beauty as someone that not try again to fit in, not try again to be liked by others because you tried and failed in the past and you felt that you need to like yourself others need to appreciate you more so if they cannot show appreciation then they don't deserve to be in your life you know and you don't have to think a lot of what you can give what you can offer because if they cannot appreciate the little things that you give, how can they appreciate the big things that you give and give you your beauty as someone that just you offering this good things in life you know you carrying it within you that heart of gold and being very unique in yourself have faith in your own dreams if they are in alignment with the with the goodness of your heart with the purity kindness and love because they will come to you in real life you know what i mean just have faith in your dream have faith in the connection that you have it's better to slowly develop um authentic connection genuine connection than to force connection you know what i mean and he view your beauty as someone that truly unique you have your own style um you're very um elegant and i feel that no matter what you look you know what i mean you always got everything on point you know you always got everything on point and it doesn't matter what they said because then you know um you know that is just not 
for them to enjoy it's for you to enjoy all right so i also feel with this group that he view your beauty as someone that truly know how to light up the room you know how to cheer up other people you are very beautiful and I think if you your beauty as someone that really know how to take care of yourself really well, um, you know, the way you dress, your accessories, um, or even your makeup is always on point, but you're naturally beautiful. So he view your beauty as naturally beautiful. Without you using a lot of makeup, your authenticity is already uh, make you shine so bright. Now let your truth be heard. No more hiding, no more, um, you know, no more trying to fit in into people and, you know, just stand out and feel comfortable that not everyone going to be for you, but you should, you should give yourself to your dreams, desire, and let the right people come to you. Because when your vibration is getting higher, the right people with also similar vibration that you want to attract with a full intention will come to you. All right. They will come to you. Now with Black Thorn over here. You know, Black Thorn is actually someone with a very powerful wisdom because this is an old woman stands in the woods her back bent a raven on her shoulder and a staff of black thorn holding her up despite her fragile appearance um you know this is the guardian of ancient woodlands people may underestimate you but you know the true power that lurks within, especially when you are surrounded by people and places that you love. Don't let other people's opinions take away your confidence in your own abilities. Again, it's almost telling the same similar messages or even validate the authenticity messages. So he view your beauty as someone that might feel sad in the past because people not validating you as much as you want them to or you're not joining some sort of girls group whatever you know what i mean but know that you know um some people will just gonna appreciate the people that they want to appreciate in their life all right some people just truly gonna appreciate the connection the genuine um you know friendship that they want to create but if you don't find that this person reciprocate back you know it's nothing it's wasting your time. And he view your beauty as someone that got that wisdom. You got that wisdom. You know within you there's this true power. You know the value that you carry. The offer that you're going to bring. You know. You bring a lot of value to the table. All right. And he view your beauty as someone with a lot of substance. As someone with a lot of essence. You know. It takes... Um, it takes some time to get to know you better, but if you, your beauty as someone that is very loyal, um, you are protective of your loved ones, um, you're very kind, and if you, your beauty as someone that willing to offer great deal, willing to go out of your way to make other people happy, but you stop trying so hard anymore. You stop trying so hard anymore because it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it, group number three, to make other people warm and sacrifice yourself and let yourself on fire. You know what I mean? Um, so he view your beauty as someone that truly learned the hard way in the past and use that as your wisdom instead of being closed off. You're still trying to open yourself to new connection, new relationship, but you're being very careful and very selective with your energy. And, you know, um, you just come and go. You just come and go as you please because not everyone around you truly appreciate your value. You know, especially that jealous friend, that jealous acquaintances, you know, or people that just lurking on your social media without, you know, liking your post or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Hmm. How does he view your beauty? Group number three, ask for help. I'm being called to pull one more and a moon energy. Some of you are cancer, right? You have cancer placement in your birth chart. Maybe south node in cancer, mid heaven cancer, sun, moon rising, Jupiter, Venus, or your moon sign. 
is very powerful. He view your beauty like your moon sign. It depends. It's going to be different for each one of us. Surrender to the natural flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotion and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. He view your beauty as someone that is truly elegant. You are a calm in the chaos you know you are the calm fairy in the chaos you are the beauty in you know uncertainty and you truly have that moon power so it's really good when your manifestation during the new moon and full moon because your moon power is truly activate during that time um now it's going to be different for each one of us but look at your moon sign that's how he view your beauty all right, and you can rely on your moon sign to truly activate your power to manifest. Ask for help. He view your beauty as someone that is willing to ask for help, but also willing to give help, offering help to other people. All right, so that's also about you. Let's see your um, tarot cards here now. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. Please, please tap me to the energy of group number three. How does he view your beauty? Okay. The one to come up and this one. All right. Oh, you got four. All right. I supposed to just grab three. The Hierophant, Knight of Pentacles, Death, and Ice, the Empress. I mean, look at that. Look at that, group number three. It's very powerful. All right. You got four cards. Other group only got three. But it's just, you know, no coincidence in life. All right. He view your beauty as someone that really know how to pick yourself up when the world, the situation, the haters try to bring you down. You always find a new way to pick yourself up because you're relying on your own authenticity, because you're relying on your genuine energy. You know, that's your power. All right. And I also feel that he view your beauty as someone that really know how to find your own way, how to embark into new journey without losing the hope, without losing the sight and truly have your eyes on the prize. Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. All right. I just feel that for this group. You are someone that always help people. You are someone that always at least offering help for people. You are someone that when you like someone, you're being genuine with the connection, either it's friendship, acquaintances, work, or even romantic. I feel that some of you probably uh, disappointed with some connection in the past or just some people that not reciprocate back your positive energy. But I feel that you kind of realize the lesson that is all about in spiritual energy. You're just not aligned with them. You're just not aligned with them. You have a better purpose. You have higher calling. And, you know, you're someone that is very spiritual. He view your beauty as being a very spiritual person. Someone that truly know how to communicate with the spiritual realms. Someone that is very supported by the divine, by God, by your angels. And I also feel that he view your beauty purely. You are beautiful. You might not feel, you might not want to admit it, but you are beautiful. Stop doubting yourself. Stop um, you know, thinking that you're not beautiful, look in the mirror and say that you are beautiful because you are the empress. You got the empress quality. All right. Um, you're very nurturing. Give you your beauty as someone that is truly nurturing. Now look at this. She support this bird nest and you also asking for help and offering help and this is about your authenticity energy you know and let your truth be heard. Share your ideas with people. Don't be afraid to start something new don't be afraid to be the this catalyst of people don't be afraid to you know um share the world who you are share your creative ideas share your creation um, and don't be afraid to truly um be yourself all right some people just 
try to dim your light. You know what I mean? When they're supposed to share the lights, you know what I mean? But I feel that, you know, um, you're being more, more mature than that, you know? And it, it seems like when that person not express their needs for your validation, you know what I mean? You don't have to give it to them. If they don't know how to reciprocate back, the validation, the friendship, the connection, the positive vibes, you don't have to always to give it to them. So he view your beauty as someone that really know how to be nurturing, how to be feminine, but really know your limit as well with the black thorn. You know your limit and let people underestimate you, all right? Because then it's their loss, not your loss. Um, wow, very powerful reading here. Please tap me to the energy of group number three, please. How does he view your beauty, group number three? For my viewers, that be group number three, please. Appreciation. Again, we're talking a lot about this. You know, you appreciate the unique ways other people show their love rather than compare their ways with my ways. Then I appreciate myself for naturally putting up with people who just can't seem to show love the normal obvious universally accepted way good job both of us all right so he view your beauty as someone that not gonna force connection not gonna force that friendship not gonna force that you know work relationship if they don't know how to appreciate you you start to just not putting your eggs on their basket putting the bird on the nest. You stop doing this. You stop supporting this. You know what I mean? Yes, you just do the minimum job and that's it. But you don't have to even go out of your way for some people. All right? Because they're not going to go out of their way for you. You know what I mean? Boundless love. Today, I'll open my eyes a little wider and walk a little taller, noticing that the world around me is filled with tiny miracles. With this in mind, it's easy to fall in love over and over again with everything from honeybees to neon signs. And while I'm feeling this inspired and this in love, everything else sort of falls into place. You realize that it's just not have to come from the same people. You know, he you your beauty that truly realize you're being surrounded by miracles and love by your angels and the divine and God. And God can use any reason to make you happy, anyone to make you happy. Um, you know, it doesn't have to always come from the same person. It even gonna help you from feeling broken hearted all right so he view your beauty as someone that truly start to appreciate all the beauty things that you're being surrounded with all right sensuality yes he view your beauty as being very sensual very sexy you got your sexy energy very sensual you embracing sensuality doesn't mean you are a middle-aged swinger it simply means you are severing one of the coolest aspect of being alive enjoying this sensuality enjoying this um you know seductive energy that you already got in yourself all right group number three please tap me to the energy of group number three Benefit of the doubt. Yes, whenever people cannot give you what you want to receive from them, you try to just think from the perspective of everyone got their limit, either they want it or not. And you also stop giving a lot of your resources, a lot of your energy to those people that don't know how to give or just not be able to give it back to you. So whenever you give, it's all based on your genuine energy wants to give, but not expecting anything in return. Turn. And because of that, you know, you're attracting more abundance, more energy into your life because you really know how to not blame people, but instead giving giving them the benefit of the doubt and not giving it too much to people. You know what I mean? So that's how he feel your beauty. Yes. 
you have here reliability he view your beauty as someone that's really reliable you know you are reliable you are on time you really respect people time he view your beauty as someone that truly they can depend on so i feel that with this all cards here i feel that they start admiring you from afar even though you might not realize it but this person more than likely he truly view your beauty as someone that not just beautiful from the outside but also beautiful from the inside all right group number three that's your reading for today please give me thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video thank you guys and bye bye